Now it's been a week since I took ownership of this car. I'm still very happy. I'm still very pleased with my purchase. However, a couple of things have uh, appeared since I bought the car. That wing mirror packed in. The, the passenger side wing mirror, or should I say the passenger side on a left-hand drive car for you guys in Britain, that would be the driver's side. And the clutch pedals began squeaking. Now, as for the clutch pedal, I've slathered that stuff in, in, in grease, especially there's a plunger there. And I don't know if it's working. Maybe the grease isn't getting through to where it should or something. I don't know, but it still sounds awful. And when that didn't work, then I slathered it with like WD-40. Other brands are available. Um, and it also didn't seem to work. So I'm probably gonna have to go back and slather it with even more grease in other places. So I must have missed something. Anyway, the other thing is that wing mirror. And I've already started to take it apart. Here is, as you can see, the actual mirror itself. All filthy, it's got my fingerprints all over it. We'll have to clean that up later. Uh, and shout out to Slow Citro Man. His video is what I followed to remove that wing mirror. Now it's a great video. I'm not. I'm not filming this process because that video says it all. And it would have been nice of me to film my own version of it based on his knowledge to get views. If you know what I mean, I'd probably be stealing views from him. That wouldn't be nice. Let me just say, however, if I can add something. Removal tools, these plastic things, they are absolutely brilliant. I bought them when I um, replaced the radio on my original Citroen C5 1.6 and these have just kept on giving since then. They're incredibly useful in many situations and they've been incredibly useful in removing that wing mirror. You've got to have these, that's my recommendation. So anyway, back to that wing mirror. So I've got the mechanism out but you have to remove this sort of shaft thing here and in a slow Citroen's video which I should link by the way the link will be in the description I can't find a way of doing this I'm giving up on this because it's just I can't get it out if you use this to make pressure press down on the spring and then twist it around it'll probably come out but two things first off I completely screwed up my hand does it look like it but I screwed up my hand trying to get it out second even if I do get it out I don't have the replacement motor and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's the motor it's got all the symptoms of gives a little movement when you open the car and a little movement when you close it it's got all the symptoms of a um, bad motor so I'm gonna try and source a replacement motor and then I'll do it again. It's been very helpful though. I now know how to disassemble the mirror. Next time it will be quicker um, and assembly will be dead easy. It's just click, 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 click and just line things up, put them into place. They'll all go into place. All lovely jubbly. So yeah, I put some plastic bags around the wiring to protect it, but it was for naught. I'm going to put it all back now. First thing you want to do is slot this wiring through this hole you see here you can see i put a bit of paper around so it's to distinguish one from the other so i know where it goes i took a picture before i disassembled everything recommend you put one bit in like so now it comes the other end then another one and another one and so on don't even know if you can see anything from there fun fact this, I think it's this wing mirror, had a sticker on it that said it's from the 1st of December 2016 and it's made in Ireland. So this is probably a replacement mirror. So I always like to find out about these things when I fix my cars. As I said, putting this back is dead easy. If you took it apart, putting it back is a doddle. You just press things into place. The only thing is the wiring. You've got to be careful where it all goes. Why does this go? I hope I'm not making a hash of this. Very easy. Very easy indeed. Uh, just everything clicks into place. Just be careful regarding the wiring. Make sure you've taken some photographs to see where the wires go through because 
before this bit, this is the first bit that goes on, the part that surrounds the mirror. Before that goes on, you've got to thread some wires through them. So make sure you've taken photos and you really double check everything, basically. I'm going to wait for better days and get myself a motor for this wing mirror. Look at those beautiful alloys. These are Baltics. Baltic en français. My old one had Persic and also the other perhaps more famous one, if you can say such a thing, were the Adriatics. Uh, here's one I saw in Spain when I was there. Beautiful things. I think they're 18 inch, 19 inch, not sure. But in my humble opinion, these, the Baltics, they've always been my favourite. Even though the Persics I had before were absolutely gorgeous. Really are. Look at that. But anyway, that's enough for me. So thanks very much for watching if you made it this far and I bid you all farewell.